Hi everyone, this is Lao from lovebylao.com and today we have a very short topic so go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter and um, let's just go ahead and get started. So like I said, we have a very short, short video today. Um, at least I'll try to make it short. Um, and it's about hydrogenitis advice, which is actually what my page is all about, is giving advice on hydrogenitis and how to deal with flare-ups. Now, not every piece of advice that you'll see on my page or that anybody else will give you, including doctors, will always work just because there is no set reason for hydrogenitis, which is the first reason why advice doesn't always work. So because doctors and professionals can't find out why it is that we get these flare-ups, because if they knew why, they'd be able to fix it. Um, it's not always a sure shot that the VIX is going to work. It's not always a sure shot that the turmeric is going to work. It's not always a sure shot that a detox is going to work or that even the surgeries are going to work because people actually get flare-ups after they have surgeries or they get flare-up after they take Humira or any kind of Adalimumab like that. So um, because there is no for sure, for sure reason why we have HS, there is no for sure, for sure way to fix it but there's ways to cope, right? And that leads me into my second reason. Treating something isn't curing something. So when you get advice to cope with your flare-ups or when you get advice to treat your flare-ups, you're not necessarily getting advice to cure it. However, it's, it's psychologically when someone says, I have this that can help treat what you're going through, automatically you think, oh my goodness, my problems are over because I'm, as I'm gonna get treated and it's gonna go away. But that's not necessarily the case. Because Just because you get treated doesn't mean there's a cure. Now there, I just wanna make sure that I clarify, there is no cure for hydrogenitis spurativa. So don't let your head get wrapped up in the fact that you're no longer gonna get flare-ups because you have a dermatologist treating you now. Unfortunately, that's not the case. When we get a cure, I'll be the first one singing it off the roof, the, singing it from the rooftops, but right now, there is no cure for hydrogenitis. There is only certain treatments, and not every treatment works for everyone. Um, and that is going to lead me into my third reason. Um, my triggers for my flare-ups aren't necessarily the triggers that trigger your flare-ups, and or the person or the next person's flare-ups. My triggers are sugar and yeast and things like that. Your triggers might be something else. Your triggers might definitely be hormonal. Maybe you get them when you're closer to your period. Um, maybe, um, I don't know, you get them when you, when you work out too much. And sometimes there are people like me who get them for everything and for anything. And no, my detox don't always work, but I'm going to try every single thing I can before I just throw in the towel and, and try to not get rid of the flare-up and just deal with it. So just because you read on a Facebook group or on some sort of website, this, is, this product is really good to treat hydrogenitis and it doesn't work for you, it's probably because that product or that holistic um, remedy was formulated for the kind of flare-up that comes from working out or the kind of flare-up that comes from getting your period, or the kind of flare-up that comes from when you eat too many cookies, you know? Every flare-up is different, so you have to treat it differently. So if your VIX isn't always working to draw the liquid from that boil, then try something else. How about Manuka honey and, and turmeric, which I have a video coming soon. Um, Try anything you can before you just give up because that give up is what actually causes us a lot of psychological torment and that's the worst part of this disease is what it does to our brains because I'm sure a lot of us out here can do with the scars. We can just probably do without the, the torment, the psychological torment. So keep your head up, understand that not everything works every single time and if you have any questions, Please feel free to email me. Go to my website, lovebylaw.com, and there's that little envelope on the bottom. Click on that, email me, and I can give you my best advice from my experience. Um, and if you have any questions about this video or any other video, you can reach me on all so social media platforms. And again, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and hit that like button, and I will see you next week.